Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another video. Um, today I'm just going to show you a few of my screws and nails. Um, I will keep it brief because I'm doing an outside shoot and it is quite cold. I should explain that outside shoot is a technical term for filming outside of a building. Um, in my case the building is my house and I'm stood in my shed. Okay. First up are these 20mm clout nails, 400 gram in weight. Uh, they're for fixing roof tiles and slates. They're galvanised for a, a rust resistant finish. Let me just open these up. There they are. They're great, aren't they? Um, I haven't counted them yet. I, I do intend to count them. Um, what is that? It's a little rogue one, look. Shouldn't be in there. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I will count them later on when there's nothing on television. Uh, next up are these turbo drive high performance all purpose wood screws. Uh, 5.0 times 50 millimeter PZ twos, 10 times two inch, 25 in a pack. They're great. Uh, next up are bigger brother of those. These are the 6.0 times 60 millimeter PZ threes, 12 times two three eighths, 25 in a pack. They're, they're the business. They're the big boys, aren't they? Uh, moving over here. Uh, we've got the turbo drive 4.0 times 25 millimeter PZ2, uh, eight times one inch. There's 200 in a pack of those because they they are a lot smaller. I don't know if you can see that. They're an awful lot smaller. Mm. They basically all do the same job, um, but you know varying sizes. Um, if I had to choose a favourite, I'd probably say uh, the old 6.0 times 60 millimeter PZ3s, 12 times two three eighths. Uh, simply for the reason they're incredibly versatile. Um, <laughs> this is the old favourite. I've had this box for years, and there's all you know separate compartments in it for um, putting different size ones in. Um, you can put, having a bit of a battle through in it with one hand. Um, there they are. I've used quite a lot of those, as you can see. Again, a, a rogue one. Don't know where that's come from. That's 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 upset me a little bit. Um, yeah, a little bit of fluff, not good. This insulation tape as well. Need to sort this out. Really need to sort this out. But I'm I'm running low on these little fellas here. Uh, the 0 0.608. I don't know what I've used so many of those on. Um, prepare to be dazzled. This looks like an ordinary case. Get ready for it. <gasps> There's more on that side. Yes, look at those. They're of the smaller size. Um, I don't use a lot of these. What I don't like about it is that there are a, a lot of little compartments where they can tend to come um, loose of themselves and, and kind of go into a different compartment. So they're all kind of jumbled up. That, that again, unnerves me a little bit. I, I, I think probably Friday night or Probably Saturday night I might bring this into the house and uh, have a good old sort out. And last but not least, um, again, a little jamboree of um, screws and nails. Put my hand in here. Um, if you're wondering what kind of bag it is, it's just a standard um, sandwich bag. I think I bought them as a pack of 100 from Wilkinson's. Um, and they're just oddments really, things that I've picked up along the way doing DIY over the years and uh, you know let's have a look, you know in no kind of order that's the way I roll, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a maverick okay so um, more or less um, probably will show you some more of these as time goes on um, I've got loads more um, but like I say it is really cold and uh, you know I do want to get indoors um, I've got three episodes of Monk uh, on my Sky Plus that I want to catch up with as well okay until next time thanks a lot goodbye